What's up everybody, Johnny Omega here giving you my review of Aquaman. Aquaman stars Jason Momoa as Arthur Curry, whose father is a human and mother is from the lost city of Atlantis. He grew up with his father but has to go to Atlantis when he finds out that his brother is putting together a plan to attack the land. The interesting thing about Aquaman though is that he's next in line to be king but he doesn't want to be king. He actually doesn't want to have anything to do with Atlantis but the problem is is that to stop his brother he has to be king and in order to be king he has to fight his brother for the throne. So that's the dilemma and now we have the movie. Starting with what I liked about the movie, hands down, is the effects. The CGI used for all the underwater scenes were great. Even though I knew I was watching people on a green screen set, it didn't feel like it. It actually looked natural like I was watching people who lived underwater. And not only was the city of Atlantis done great, but so were the other kingdoms. When Atlantis was above ground, it was the center of civilization, but when it sank, it actually broke into seven pieces spread over the earth. The interesting thing about the Seven Kingdoms is that the people in them developed and evolved all differently. All of their technologies are a little bit different, and when you're visiting all Seven Kingdoms, you actually feel like you're in seven completely different places. I like the costumes in this movie too. I don't too often talk about costumes in movies, but whoever did it for this movie did a good job. The overall story was good, but there were parts in the movie where the pacing just completely slowed down. Those parts were most obvious when Aquaman and Mira had to flirt with each other. But even though the story lacked at times, I liked the fact that they kept it self-contained with just Aquaman and didn't rely too much on the other things that happened in the other movies in the DCEU. You can actually walk right into this movie not having seen any of the other DCE movies and be completely fine. When it comes to the acting, everybody pretty much did a good job. There wasn't really any obvious weak links. Some people have an issue with the way that they use Black Manta in this movie, but I don't see a problem with it. I think they used them just enough to be interesting, but not too much to where it took away from the main story, and I personally can't wait to see him in the sequel. With his origin story already told, not only can you make him the main antagonist moving forward, but you can do so at the very beginning of the next movie and not waste any time explaining anything. And I really hope that Warner Brothers brings James Wan back for the sequel, because even though this isn't the best movie in the DCEU, this movie definitely sets up a sequel better than any other movie in the DCEU. And to anybody that doesn't know the importance of Black Manta, he's basically Aquaman's arch nemesis. He's what the Joker is to Batman, and what Lex Luthor is to Superman. The fight choreography in this movie is great too. The first fight scene with Nicole Kidman's character definitely sets a tone for everything else. And the fight scenes underwater are practically perfect. I'd be impressed if they could do anything much better than what they already did. The time and effort put towards the CGI in this movie needs to be the bare minimum that the DCEU does moving forward. The only negative I'd really say about this movie besides the pacing is more so just an observation of something that I saw that clearly changed with the Aquaman character. When Aquaman and Mira have their scene in Justice League, it seems like that's the first time that they met and Aquaman definitely has an issue with his mother because he thinks she abandoned him. But in this movie when they talk, it kind of seems like this is the first time they've met and Aquaman's feelings about his mother are a complete 180. I understand why James Wan did it because it was for the better men in his movie, but there's clearly a difference between where WB originally wanted to take Aquaman and where they're actually taking him now. So in conclusion, the story was good, the acting was good, the effects and the fight choreography were great. This movie isn't perfect and it does have its flaws, but it definitely puts the DCEU back in the right direction after what Justice League did. I just hope that Shazam and Wonder Woman 84 keep things on the right track. All that being said, I'd say this movie is definitely worth the watch. So comment below and let me know what you guys thought about the movie. And also, who's your favorite DC superhero? Mine is Batman, but I'd be curious to see how many people start saying Aquaman is their favorite. You know how when sports teams start doing good, people come out saying that that's been their favorite team all their life? I think Jason Momoa is going to create a whole lot of Aquaman fans around here. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to see what we got coming next.